happen in an instant. Suddenly, everything changes. At Clark College, we're all responsible for safety. By knowing what to do, by practicing and preparing for emergencies, you'll know how to stay safe, and you'll be able to help others. This video was created to help you know what to do. In an emergency or during a practice drill, you'll hear a message alert on the phone in your office or classroom. You'll also see a message on your phone screen. In smart classrooms, the same message will appear on computers and screens. In some areas, loudspeakers will broadcast emergency messages. Depending on the event, live or pre-recorded messages may be sent throughout the entire college or specific areas. Before those announcements, you will always hear these distinctive tones. There are three things you may be asked to do in an emergency. There may be an evacuation, there could be a lockdown, or you could be asked to drop, cover, and hold. You'll continue to get instructions through our mass notification system until the all-clear message. The all-clear message will be sounded at the end of every drill or emergency. All clear. Each emergency scenario is different. If you're ordered to evacuate, do it. Quickly, but carefully. Walk to the closest exit. If you're able, help others who need help. Do not use the elevators. Only take your belongings if it is safe to do so. Once you've left the building, go to the nearest assembly area. You'll find a map of assembly areas on ClarkNet and on Clark's emergency website. Stay out of the parking lots. Stay off of the roads. Wait for the all-clear message. Okay, so if there's a lockdown, first, make sure that everyone knows that there is a lockdown. Okay, so Say or shout, lockdown, middle, close and lock feet. doors. If you can do it safely, gather people together, especially those who may be in danger. Close the blinds, lock the windows, then go to a safe area and take cover. Stay out of sight. Leave computers on and cell phones on vibrate. Stay quiet and stay in place until you get the all clear message. All clear. You may be asked to shelter in place. This could happen if there is a tornado or if there are chemicals in the air. If there are fumes, cover your mouth and nose with clothing. Facilities services may shut down the ventilation during the emergency. If there's an earthquake, there won't be any warning. There won't be an alert. You must know what to do and act fast. Drop down. Get under a table or another sturdy piece of furniture to protect your head. Stay away from windows and heavy objects that could fall on you. Do not leave the building while it's still shaking. As soon as the shaking stops, walk to the closest exit. Don't use the elevators. Leave the building. If you can, help others who need help. Don't take your personal items unless it's safe to do that. Go to the designated assembly area. And remember, there could be aftershocks. Clark College takes great pride in welcoming a rich, diverse group of students, faculty, and staff. In an emergency, here are tips for supporting people with disabilities. If someone has mobility issues, ask if you can assist them. If someone has a vision disability, ask if they want to hold your arm, especially if there is a crowd or debris. If someone is deaf or hard of hearing, get their attention by eye contact, waving or gently touching their shoulder or arm. Use gestures, pointing, or using a brief written note to let them know what's happening. If a person with a disability isn't able to evacuate the building, escort them safely to the closest designated area of rescue, then evacuate the building and immediately report the location of that person so emergency responders can help them. Clark College is taking steps every day to keep you safe. Our Emergency Management Planning Committee is taking the lead. They are responsible for our emergency operations plan and for our college's protocols and drills. Clark also has more than 50 trained community emergency response team volunteers. They are ready to respond to disasters, even before emergency crews arrive. They can perform light search and rescue and deliver basic emergency medical care. 
Every building at Clark College has an emergency building coordinator. During a drill or in an actual emergency, these volunteers guide us. They remind us what to do. They can answer your questions about how to respond in an emergency. Members of our Behavioral Intervention Team, or BIT, work with students, faculty, and staff. They are trained to identify and respond to behaviors that may pose a danger to that individual or to others. You will find a referral form under BIT on the ClarkNet site. Emergencies can trigger strong emotional responses. Our Crisis Intervention Management Team provides mental health support following a crisis. That's what Clark College is doing. Here's what you should be doing. For the safety of our students, all faculty members, full and part-time, must know how to lead and perform the procedures for lockdown, evacuation, and drop, cover, and hold. This could be especially important during evening or weekend classes when there's not as much staff support at the college. All across the college, you'll find brightly colored posters reminding you what to do during an emergency. Everyone should read them. You'll recognize our emergency response guide by its bright yellow color. It tells you what to do in case of a fire, medical emergency, power outage, or other unexpected events. In the aftermath of high-profile college violence, we also need to know what to do if there's a shooting or the threat of one. Clark's Risk Management Services team can help. They would be happy to talk to you during a work group or staff meeting. A basic emergency kit can help you during an emergency. Learn how to put together your own kit for home, work, and while traveling. Visit ready.gov. Remember, in a drill or an emergency, Students and visitors will look to you. Be calm, be decisive, be ready. Remember that every building at the college has at least one emergency building coordinator. They will be happy to answer your questions and help you learn more. You'll also find excellent information online, from the Clark College website to ready.gov. We are a learning college. And it's important that we all learn what to do in an emergency. At Clark College, we are all responsible for keeping our college safe. <laughs>